In question number 8, it is given a, a, an AP consists of 50 terms. An AP consists of 50 terms means that means n will be 50. Now, which which term is uh, of which third term is 12? That means in this AP third term that means A3 is given 12. So you write like this so it will be easier for you. And Term, third term is 12 and the last term that means here is la 50 terms so that means the last term is a50 is given and a50 is given 106 find the 29th term that means you have to find here a29 so these these are the informations and you have to put here now from here you will start a50 is given now here a50 equal to 106 so what will be the a50 formula a plus if it is 50 i will write here 49 a plus 49 equal to 106 and a3 is given a3 equal to given 12 so a3 formula is a plus 2d that means it is given here 12 now you we'll subtract now this is 1 this is Two. So if you subtract 1 minus 2, 49 minus 2, that means 47D will be equal to 94. So value of D will be equal to, so here it is multiplied. So if you write here, 47 will come down. So 94 by 47, which is 2. Now I will put the value of D either in equation 1 or equation 2. Now equation 2 is more easy. That's why I will put in equation 2. 2 implies a plus 2 instead of d we put 2 equal to 12. That means a plus 4 will be equal to 12. So value of a equal to 12 minus 4 which is equal to 8. Now we have to find that 29 term. Therefore a29. A29 formula will be a plus 28 times of D. So if here is 29, you put here directly 28. So so value of A is 8 plus 28 into 2. So 8 plus 28 into 2 means 56. That means answer will be 64. Let's do question number 9. If the third and ninth term of an AP are 4 and minus 8 respectively. So what you need to do? First you have to take the first term as A and the common difference is D. You have to write that term. Now if the third and ninth term. So here is given A3. A3 is given 4. Third term is given 4. And ninth term. That means A9 is given minus 8. Now the question is. Which term of the AP is 0? That means which term we don't know. That have to find out. Let AN equal to 0. Let. So we have to find N. That means N A term will be 0 in this particular AP. Now we will do from this. Here A9 is given minus 8. So what is with the A9? That means A9 means if here is 9. You have to write here 8d so equal to minus 8 and here given a3 equal to 4 a3 means a plus 2d equal to 4 so we'll subtract now now suppose this is 1 and this is 2 process is same 8 minus 2 that is 6d so here is you have to put here minus because I'm subtracting so negative 8 negative 4 and so will be negative 12 so d will be negative 12 divided by 6 and so will be minus so 2 so uh, d we got now i put the value of d in 1 now 1 implies here have to put minus 2 you can put here also no problem now a plus 8 into minus 2 equal to minus 8 so a minus 16 equal to minus 8 that means value of a will be 
negative 16 will come this side that means it will be plus 16 minus 8 so value of 8 a will be b now i have to find n now suppose a n equal to 0 now let a n equal to 0 now what is a n a plus n minus 1 into b now this is the general term of any ap that means which is equal to 0 that means we have to put the value 8 plus n minus 1 into minus 2 equal to 0 so 8 minus 2 into n it will be minus 2n minus 2 into 1 that means it will be plus 2 equal to 0 that means minus 2n now 8 plus 2 it will be 10 so I will write this side minus 10 so value of n will be equal to 5 let's do this question the 17th term of NAP exceeds the 10th term by 7 find the common difference let the first term be A and common difference be D now what is given here 17th term is greater than the 10th term now how much greater it is 7 greater a 17th term is greater than the 10th term by 7 according to question what is given here a 17 minus a 10 since 17 terms exceed the 7th term by 7 so if you subtract this term from this term the result will be 7 now what will be the 17th term formula a plus if here is 17 you have to write here 16 d so this is the 17th term and a10 means a plus 90 equal to 7 now from this a plus 16d minus a minus plus minus 90 equal to 7 so minus a plus a minus a cancel so 16d minus 90 that will be 7d equal to 7 so d equal to 1 so this is the common difference of that particular AB. Which term of the AP? The AP is given here P, 15, 27, so on. So in this AP, A equal to 3 and D will be equal to 15 minus 3. 15 minus 3 which will be equal to 12. Now, which term of the AP will be 132 more than the 54th term? Now, which term is greater than the 54 term? You don't know. Now, let the term be. Let the term be a n. Now, this term is greater than the 54 term by 132. Now, according to question, what is given? A n minus a 54. That means this term minus this term. Result will be 1. 32. Now put the values. A n formula is a plus n minus 1 times of d and a 54 means a plus 53 d. So answer will be 132. Now a plus here n minus 1 into value of d is 12 minus here a plus minus minus 53 and value of d will be 12 so equal to 132 so plus a minus a cancel so that means n minus 1 into 12 uh, now minus 53 into 12 that means 636 636 equal to 112 so n minus 1 into 12 equal to 132 plus 636 and shall be 628 33 6, 6, 1, 7, so n minus 1 equal to by 12 you have to divide this so n will be, answer will be 64 now therefore n will be equal to 64 minus 1 will come this side plus 1 that means 64 plus 1 so it will be 65 now question number 12 2 AP have the same common difference. Suppose this is an here is some number, this is an AP, and here suppose this is AP. 
1 and this is AP2 these are two arithmetic progressions and common difference is same in this AP suppose common difference is D so here also will be common difference will be D now the difference between the 100 term is 100 now in this particular AP suppose first term is A and in this AP first term is small a so but difference is same common difference is same in both the APs so what is given here the difference between their 100 term is 100 according in this AP 100 term will be a 100 and in this particular AP 100 term will be a 100 so in first the first AP I am writing the first term as capital A and in the second AP I am writing the first uh, first term as small a because terms are not different only common difference is same now this difference is equal to 100 now a 100 means a plus 99 into d and a 100 means a plus 99 into d since d is same here so here also small d here also small d now I have to put here a bracket because here is negative if here is negative always you put bracket so answer will be equal to 100 so a plus 99 t minus a minus so this here is minus and plus will be minus 99 d equal to 100 so minus 99 d minus 99 d got cancelled that means a minus a equal to 100 now in this question you have to find find the difference between the thousand terms that means you have to find a thousand minus a thousand you have to find this now therefore a thousand minus a thousand these are the thousand term of the both APs a thousand means a plus nine 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 D so a thousand that means a plus thousand minus one into D so this will be a plus thousand minus one minus so it will be like this so here also a plus nine 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 D so a got cancelled so here will be negative so oh, sorry so here will be a plus 999d minus here also will be a plus 999d so i'll open the bracket a plus triple nine d minus a minus triple nine d so these two got cancelled so a minus a now this a minus a value is 100 so answer will be 100 suppose this is one using one you can write using one the next question is how many multiples of 4 lie between 10 and 250 now between 10 and 250 how many multiples of 4 are there that means how many numbers which are divisible by 4 now first number is 12 11 is not divisible 12 is divisible. So first will be 12, next will be uh, 16, like next will be 20 and so on. Now what is the last number? Now this is not divisible by 4. So what I'll do? 250 by 4, I'll divide. 4 6 are 24, 1 0, 4 2 are 8, 9, 10. That means here is 2 excess. So 250 minus 2, that means 248 is the last term now from 12 to 248 how many terms are there here a will be equal to 12 and d equal to 16 minus 12 which will be equal to 4 let the number of terms be n therefore a n equal to 248 now what is the a n formula that means a plus n minus 1 times of d equal to 240 it. Now put the values. Value of A is 12 and N have to find out 
minus 1 and d is uh, 4 here equal to 248. Now n minus 1 into 4 equal to 248 minus 12. So 12 will come this side so it will be minus 12. So answer will be 236. So value of n minus 4 is n minus 1 into 4 is 246. So n minus 1 equal to 236 divided by 4. What will be the value? So 4 5 is 20, 4 9 is 36. So n minus 1 equal to 59. That means n equal to 59 plus 1 will be equal to 60. Now the next, the next question is for what values of n? Are the nth term of the two AP? Here is two APs are given. Suppose AP one. So AP number one is given 63, 65, 67, so on. And arithmetic progression two, which is given 3, 10, 17, so on. Now in this particular AB, for what value of n the terms will be equal? Now in this AP, A is given here, I am writing here by capital A, 63, that means first term is 63 and D is given here 65 minus 63 which is 2 and in this particular AP, A is given, that means the first term is 3 and D is given 10 minus 3 which is 7. Now I am writing here capital here small because both the F's are different. Now. Uh, let the let in both the APs and the terms are equal. Now let the and it terms are equal. Now in this AP and a term will be a n and in the second AP a and a term will be a n. Now these two terms are equal. So a n means a plus n minus one whole into d and here also a plus n minus 1 over oh, here it will be capital D n minus 1 into small d I put the value a means 63 plus n minus 1 into 2 equal to uh, equal to a a means 3 plus n minus 1 and d means 7 here so here I'll do 63 plus here 2 into n, 2n minus 2 into 1, 2 equal to 3 plus 7 into 3, 7 into n, 7n minus 7 into 1, 7. So here 63 minus 2, 61 plus 2n equal to 3 minus 7 which is minus 4 plus 7n. So 61 minus 4 will come this side, so plus 4 so 7n minus 2 so 64 1 plus 4 equal to 65 equal to 5n that means n will be equal to 5 65 by 5 which is equal to 13 so 13 turn will be equal in both the APs now in this question determine the AP whose third term is 16 that means A3 is given 16 and 7 term exceeds the 5th term by 12. 7 term exceeds the 5th term. 7 term, seven term is greater, 5th term is less. Now, how much less? According to question, 7 term minus 5th term. Difference is 12. So, what will be the A7 formula? A plus 6D. And what is the A5 formula? A plus 4D. So, equal to 12. So, a plus 6d minus a minus 4d equal to 12. Now, a get cancelled. 6d minus 4d, which will be equal to 2d equal to 12. So, value of d equal to 6. Now, again, so d we got, again, a3 is given 16. A3 is given 16. So, do you got, but A, you have to find out. From this, we will find A. 
Now a3 means a plus 2d equal to 16. That means a plus 2 value of d is 6 equal to 16. So a plus 12 equal to 16. So a will be 16 minus 12 which will be equal to 4. Therefore the AP is the AP is so first term is 4 now d is 6 that means increasing by this plus so increasing so that means next term will be 10 so again next term will be again plus 6 that means 16 so on now in this question an ap is given 3 8 13 up to 253 now if to find the 20 term from the last term of the ap like this so if we will uh, write from the reverse, so this will be the first term. So what will be the next term? So see, see it is increasing by 5, 3, 8, 13, so increasing by 5. So next term will be 5 less, so 253 minus 5, so answer will be 248. So this term will be 248. Again the next term will be again 5 less, so answer will be 240. So, the particular AB will be here, the AP will be first 253, next 248, 243 and so on, the last term will be 3. So, this will be the last term. Therefore, A will be here 253 and D will be, since it is decreasing, D will be negative 248 minus 253 which will be equal to minus 5 now find the 20th term therefore a20 a20 formula will be a plus if here is 20 you have to put here 19 d so a plus 19 d will be equal to a means 253 plus 19 and value of d is negative 5 so 253 Minus 19 5 ja 95 so answer will be 158. Uh, you can see the first part of this video on the link given in the description box. Let's start this now. Before starting this, uh, question number seven we have to know the any term of any AP. So, any term of an AP is given by an equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where n denotes the nth term so what is a so a will be the first term of that particular a b so it is the first term and n will be the number of terms number of terms and what is the d is the common difference of that particular a b now let's do the Question number 7. In this question, 31st term of an AP is given. Find the 31st term of an AP whose 11th term is 38 and the 16th term is 73. So, what is given here in this question? So, 11th term is given, that means we will write, write in symbol. So, 11th term is A11. That is given 38. And what is given? A. 16 is given that means 16 term is given 16 term is given uh, which is uh, 73 and we have to find the 31 term a 31 that means a 31 have to find out now what will you do so always you take the first term as a and common difference is d so we will start from these two now we have to find this now here a 16 equal to 73 so what is the a16 formula a16 means a plus if here is 16 you have to write here 15d that means it is 16 minus 1d so it is given here 73 now again a11 equal to given 38 so here what is a11 so a plus if here is 11 you have to write here 10d that means a plus 10d equal to 38 
now we'll subtract this so suppose this is number one and this is number two so if we will subtract so that means it will be 5d and it will be 35 so value of d will be 7 5 7 is 35 now in this equation 2 we will put the value of d now equation 2 from equation 2 we get a plus here is 10 multiplied by so d is here 7 so 7 equal to 38 that means a plus 70 will be equal to 38 so a will be 38 minus 70 so that will be 32 now d we got a also we got now you have to find a 31 therefore a 31 will be a 31 means a plus if here is 31 you can directly write here 30 that means a plus 30 d you have to find out so value of a means 32 plus 30 into d means 7 so 32 plus 110 so 210 minus 32 so it will, it will get 178 so this is the seventh uh, this is the 31 term of that particular area